All right, guys, so I'm back home now, and this is the start of the spring break videos, and we're actually going to start out by re-wrapping Josh's hood in carbon fiber. This is 3M, and it actually held up really good. There was just some spots that didn't turn out too good, like the first time we wrapped it, like right in here and stuff, and that's because we didn't take the hood off, and it was really hard to wrap because his Bronco's so high. But this time, we went ahead and we went with some of the Avery Dimensions carbon fiber and as you guys can see it looks a lot better than this stuff because this is almost like a matte carbon fiber and this one's a lot shinier and then another reason why we're going to switch it to as you guys can see in the light like right in here this keeps dirt and stuff in it and you can't get it like looking nice or looking clean so with the new that has that slick over it we're hoping we can keep it clean but anyway so this is what the first video is going to be about. We're going to rewrap his hood. So we're going to start by taking off the old wrap while it's still on the car. And then we're going to take the hood off and put it in the garage and then rewrap it. So let's go ahead and get to the video now, guys. All right, so I know it's kind of dark out here, but this is kind of going to be just a time lapse, and I'm going to speed it up of us taking the old wrap off. It's pretty simple. You can just grab from the edges like this and then just start pulling it up. And, of course, it's probably going to come off in little pieces, but we're going to try to get it all off, and then we're going to bring the hood inside. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. All right, so I'm gonna stop the time lapse for a second. As you guys can see, it's gonna take a long time to get this off. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> and so we're actually gonna go ahead and get two heat guns because it's actually cool out here. We were using the torch, but it wasn't, it would heat it up and then it'd go away real quick. But the heat gun should be better to take it off with. And we're just gonna work together and then try to get it all off. Don't do this so, in the cold. Yeah. Don't what, do it in the cold. So. Sucks. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put you back into a time lapse and we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of this off. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Oh, this new crazy mother. Oh, this new crazy Okay guys, so the camera's battery actually died in the on the portion where we were doing the time lapse. Um, we went ahead and we took the hood off. Um, it's pretty easy. You can just find the bolts on the hinges and just take them off. Um, he had four per each side. Some cars only have two. It just depends. Um, so we went ahead and we brought it in. We got it on saw horses now. Um, and we went ahead and got, we got all the wrap off. And the best way to do it is we used both heat guns and we just kept on heating and I would actually pull while he was heating the area and we ended up getting it all off and we actually used these lights right here on a section too to kind of keep it warm. But if it's actually warmer outside, I would definitely recommend doing it in the heat. I'm definitely no expert at taking the wrap off or even installing this wrap. You know, we're just doing it as a project. Um, but we're definitely going to do it to the best of our ability and just see how it turns out. So now we're going to actually take some rubbing alcohol and we're going to take all the sticky stuff off. If you guys can see, it left some adhesive behind. So we're going to try to get that off with some alcohol. And um, as you guys can see right in here, the last time, which I know this looks kind of crappy, but last time he had like a lot of rock chips and stuff and they were rusted. So we kind of just put some primer over it and we never really had time to sand it down because um, we were kind of in a rush last time. So we're actually going to take and like wet sand this down a little bit so you can't see it through the wrap because before you could see it with the wrap. 
So anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're actually just going to start cleaning the hood off. And then tomorrow morning, we'll probably start wrapping it. Or if we feel antsy, we might just go ahead and wrap it tonight. All right, guys, so we got the hood pretty much clean. Um, we went ahead and we used alcohol on it, and then the alcohol wasn't getting stuff from some of the residue off. So I actually used some of this rubber rejuvenator that my dad used to use at a print shop to get like ink and stuff off, and it made all the residue come off really good. Um, I don't know how it does like against paint and stuff. I mean, you guys might call me an idiot because um, it could eat through the paint that's why we were getting the that's why we're using rubbing alcohol right back over it so it wouldn't you know get through but anyway so you guys can see right here we were sanding this down um, he really don't care about the paint job on the hood because there was rust spots and stuff on it um, so we wasn't worried about scratching any of the stuff um, we were just worried about getting these lines down because the last time we wrapped it like I said before we didn't have time to um, sand it down and you could see like the lines where we had masked it off before but anyway so it's all smooth now um, we're probably going to go over it one more time with rubbing alcohol because you can never be make sure the surface is too clean before you wrap and then we're going to go ahead and put the new wrap on but anyway so that was just the time line of all that and we're going to go ahead and put more, one more coat of rubbing alcohol on it and then we're probably going to go ahead and start wrapping all right guys so now we're going to go ahead and start wrapping so I've got my knife right here, just a really good, really make sure it's sharp. You can break a new blade off for it. And I've got my squeegee here, make sure it's clean. And then I have a different squeegee here, it's made out of rubber. And then I just have some soap and water inside the spray bottle. And I'm actually gonna spray that on top of the wrap so the, um, the squeegee won't make lines or marks on it and uh, mess up the wrap. So as you guys can see, it's pretty clean. Even right here, it's just from the primer being sanded out, it makes it look dirty. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get a tuber wrap right here. So as you can see, we got it from Metro Restyling. It's where I get all my wrap from. They have really good deals. Um, and the carbon fiber that we took off, so let me grab a piece out of the floor right here. So this carbon fiber again is from 3M. We really liked it, um, but it was just keeping in dirt and stuff and it looked kind of matte. Um, the new carbon fiber that we're getting ready to use is from Avery Dimensions and it's their new gloss carbon fiber. And we just like how it's shiny, um, kind of like my car's hood, the real carbon fiber. So we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna cut the wrap out to size. So as you guys can see right here, this is what it looks like compared to the the old mat but so anyway guys so hopefully this gloss finish will also keep some dirt and stuff off of it like how this was grabbing the dirt um so now we're gonna go ahead and cut it and get the weave that running the way we want it to and then um all this will be in a time lapse of us wrapping it but anyway and if you guys are going to be wrapping a hood it's always good to have a buddy to uh, help you out pull it flat to where there's no bubbles in the middle so let's go ahead and we'll get into the time lapse now. Okay guys, so all we did right there is we just laid it down and we glassed everything. So basically you just want the center of it to be pretty much flat. We hadn't like actually stuck it down yet, but you just want to make sure there's no bubbles. And then as you can see out in here, there's creases and stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start spraying some of the um, soap and water on up here at the edge. And we're just going to work our way down this way and we're going to get one side done and then we'll work to that side. And then we'll go back into a time lapse again. And um, also here, let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. 
I'll show you guys the name of the wrap that we used just so you guys can see exactly what it was called so give me one second you got it on your phone so this is what the picture of it looks like so there's exactly what we use let's see if I can get it to focus up top but anyway it's Avery Dimensions printed high gloss real D black carbon fiber wrap is what it's called so but anyway, so now we're gonna go ahead and go back into the time lapse and we're gonna start squeegeeing it down. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a little update. So the hood actually starts going down at an angle right here. So as you can see, none of this is laid yet. But basically from here back, everything is laid. So we're actually going to go ahead and start tucking it underneath. That's why I went ahead and you've seen me cutting a little bit in the last um, time lapse. And I'll actually cut it up even more than this. I was just wanting to get it to where I could work with it and I'll put it underneath. And then once I get it underneath, then I'll cut it again. But anyway, so this is kind of what it looks like laid. You can see everything right here. So we really like this new wrap. I actually believe this will be the first video on YouTube of this wrap being actually installed. But it looks really good. When we first got it, I could actually kind of tell it was printed on the roll. But now that we've actually laid it down, it looks really, really good. So anyway, let's go ahead and get back into the time lapse again, and we'll go ahead and we'll start tucking it. Is that right, Josh? That's right, son. <laughs> Alright guys, so we went ahead and we tucked this side pretty much all the way up. We've got the back tucked. Um, and like I said before, I'm not no expert at wrapping or anything. So you can kind of see our corners. Down at the bottom you can see a little bit right here, but I mean you're never going to see that. Because the, the fender comes right here and then the cowl's right here. So you're never going to see around that corner. So, here's what it looks like. we got it tucked up to here. So that's pretty much what it's looking like right now and it's almost 4 a.m. in the morning here so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to sleep and we'll wake up in the morning and we're gonna do the front and then we'll go ahead and put the hood back on the car tomorrow as well so anyway guys peace out and we'll see you tomorrow all right guys so we're back again today it's the morning we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start working on the front and get it done and put back on the Bronco today so let's get to it
All right, guys. So I know there's been a lot of like time lapse video on this, but wrap and take some time. I don't want you guys to have to sit through all that. So that's why it's sped up so fast. Um, I probably will end up cutting actually some of the time lapse out that was made just so you guys won't have to watch as much as we did. But anyway, so here's the finished product. As you can see, that's what the edges look like. Now I'm by no means a professional rapper, <laughs> gangster rapper. I'm not no professional rapper, but this definitely looks really good considering that, I mean, this is only my second time ever wrapping a hood. So my opinion, it looks really good. And also in my opinion, if you guys are looking to get some of this Avery Dimension um, Real D Gloss Carbon Fiber, I would say go ahead and do it because it actually looks a lot better than the 3M does up close. And it looks like you're going to be able to keep it clean a lot better too because it has that like gloss over it instead of like the matte textured feel. But anyway guys, so now we're going to go ahead and put the hood back on the car and we'll just show you guys that in the background and then after that, um, We'll take a, <laughs> we got my mom coming through the door over there. Um, then after that, we'll, uh, we'll take some like shots of it and just put some pictures at the end of what the hood and stuff looks like on the Bronco. So let's go ahead and put the hood on the car. All right. So as you guys seen, we just got the hood back on. I about forgot to close it out. We'll probably go ahead and maybe get some pictures tonight downtown in the lot and we'll put them right at the end of this video. But we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to do some of his interior trim pieces with some of the carbon fiber we had left over. So we'll get his interior looking a little bit better too. And uh, I'll get to teach him how to wrap a little bit. So anyway guys, till next time, I will see you guys later. And remember the, the videos this week, we were going to do a Sunday video, which actually came out on Monday because it took forever for it to upload. Um, then of course it's Tuesday right now, and then we'll have another one Thursday and then Saturday. So I'll see you guys then. So peace out.